Queenstown's Mount Lyle copper mine could start operating again five years after it closed. Queensland company New Century Resources is spending $13 million over the next two years exploring the potential of the mine before it commits to buying it. The potential revival has raised decades-old questions about environmental degradation. The bare hills around Queenstown are the legacy of toxic fumes from old smelting practices at the Mount Lyle copper mine. The mine began operating over a century ago. Over that time, acid drainage from the old mine workings has travelled into the Queen and King River systems, killing all aquatic life. It is a catastrophic situation to have all of those tailings materials. It's estimated about 100 million tonnes of mine tailings have flushed down the river system in 100 years. A potential new owner is weighing up how it could help. So we naturally uh, be looking to remove those sources, um, those waste dumps and those other sources of um, acid mine drainage uh, from the site over a, over a long period of time. New Century Resources has entered into a purchase agreement, allowing it two years to consider the viability of the copper mine before committing to a sale. Like it at Zinc Mining Queensland, the company will look at reprocessing the waste or tailings at Mount Lyle. It lowers the risk profile of the stored material, so they'll remove um, the, some of the, the pyrite out of that, which is actually wet, what causes the acid to form. If the sale goes ahead, New Century says it will take responsibility for the environmental damage after 1999. The company says the liability for the degradation which occurred in the decades before that rests with the state government. We do plan and we, we hope to work with the Tassie government um, in the years to come and maybe providing some, um, some solutions and some benefits there. The mine has been in care and maintenance for more than five years, after three workers died in two separate incidents in 2013 and 2014. A revival of the operation would see a lift in employment for the region. Possibly 300 odd jobs in the long term and you know, talking to the managing director from uh, New Century Resources, they believe there's at least 50 years mine life here. And copper is expected to be a much sought after commodity, needed to build electric cars and renewable energy generators. We are going to need to produce as much copper over the next 20 years as the entire history of human civilization on planet Earth. Signs there could be life left in an old West Coast mine. Fiona Blackwood, ABC News.